The students that we've got here today are a mixture of Year 9 and Year 10 students who are from our STEM Society, um, which is an extracurricular um, group that we have at Gleason College um, that explores uh, everything about STEM. Um, today our students have come along to um, uh, build on their worlds that they've developed in co-spaces which are um, solving a problem currently in the world. Um, so as a group for the XR Challenge I know my group's been focusing on coronavirus and what a world would be like without a vaccine. So um, the projects that we've got at the moment, so we've got um, one on uh, the importance of vaccinations and keeping safe and healthy, um, another one on uh, the issues relating to pollution, um, global warming, and lastly, um, genetically modified um, uh, crops. Um, we've been able to create kind of a virtual world where everything's kind of just gone out of control using, you know, the characters and the little models and also the environment that we're setting it in to really create a world that um, explores the message that we're trying to give. I was hoping that um, this will build on their, their desire to um, identify a problem that's going on in the world and find a solution or at least promote um, what the issue is and, and how it's something that has to be um, uh, spoken about. Well, I personally have learned much more about how to use co-spaces and how to code. Um, also learn how, like, what different effects will have on the word world depending on what happens, how one thing can lead to another. Um, I'd highly recommend it because uh, the ability to use um, amazing immersive technology um, immediately engages the student. So rather than just looking at an issue in the world, um, it pulls them in because they're able to explore using this amazing, cool technology. Um, so if anyone else is thinking about it, I can't, um, I can't recommend it anymore.